From Seagrave to Evian and to Shropshire, Leicester City's Premier League preparations continue with their first pre-season game on UK soil here at the Crown Meadow, where League One Shrewsbury provide the opposition. It's game three of the summer for the hosts, but it is game number two for the Foxes under their new boss, Steve Cooper. There's a strong Leicester City backing from the Blue Army as the teams line up in front of us with a perfect pitch ready for this pre-season game. Let's look at the two lineups for this evening's matchup. And Shrewsbury Town and Paul Hurst has recruited seven new players so far this summer. Only three of them start this evening. Luca Hoyle. Tommy O'Reilly and George Lloyd. John Marquis was the last one through the door. He signed over the weekend. He starts tonight on the bench. For Leicester City, Abdul Fatawu starts after making his switch to Leicester, a permanent one. Other new recruits see Caleb Okoli and Michael Golding start the evening on the bench. Steffi Mavadidi was a goal scorer in France over the weekend in that 2-1 win against Villarreal. 27 players named in total by Steve Cooper with a number of the academy products on the bench looking to make a mark to make a first team appearance and to impress their new manager. We predicted that perhaps McAteer would be the one to maybe play that 10 role if you like. It seems in the outset that that would be the case. It's Leicester that get us underway, the experienced Connor Cody. As I mentioned, wearing that captain's armband, joined last summer after spending eight years with Wolves. Was part of that championship winning promotion squad. And returns to the Premier League at the first attempt, just as Leicester City do. First touch on that far side for Abdul Fatah, who did start the game against Villa Real over the weekend. That was a game that was split into two 60 minute matches. So this one is uh, the more traditional. Two sets of 45 preparing for the season. That is ahead. It's a corner that Fatawu will take. Already manhandling going on inside the penalty area. It's a header from Lloyd, the Shrewsbury striker. Comes out to Daka. Here's Luke Thomas, spent last season on loan. Initially in the Premier League with Sheffield United. And then the second half of the season in the Championship with Middlesbrough. Player that has come through the Leicester Academy. And has already amassed a decent amount of appearances, well over 80 for his hometown club. Cody. Indeed it. Strange to see him wearing the number six. Here's Winks. Such a key figure in the title-winning campaign. Mamadidi, good first touch across us, up towards Makatia. Maybe caught in two minds whether to shoot or to lay that one back to Ricardo, who had joined him. Wilford and Didi, fresh from signing that new contract that will see him remain a Leicester player until the summer of 2027 will take him into 10 years as a Fox. Lovely link-up play there, and Dakar is away, but Makatia has been a judge to have fouled. Mal Benning off the ball, and Dakar's run is halted. Shrewsbury finished last League One season in 12th position. They have been dancing with danger. Most of their other campaigns in League One since promotion seven, eight years ago has been hovering close to that relegation zone. Again. Cody, he's got so much time and space to pick his man out. And we know how good a pass from the ball he is from deep to a couple of occasions now. Here comes Mamadidi again. Fatawi was an option, but Mamadidi striking firmly and viciously from the edge of the area. The goalkeeper watching that one whiz past the post. On this occasion, Mavadidi deciding not to use the option of Fatawi. And it nearly proved to be the right option. Uh, unless the, it's the very early days. And they're in a class outfit right now, aren't they, against Shrewsbury opposition. 
that, that ball from Cody I mentioned, Ferreira. McAteer made the inside run. And then Winchester's pass will find Fatawu. Manages to stay on his feet. Daka to his left. Fatawu can't stay on his feet this time. Taken out by Pierre. And the referee has brandished a yellow card to the experienced Shrewsbury defender. Fatawu showing great balance initially. There's no way he was going to stay on his feet once Pierre entered the fray. Well, that's what happens when you go at Pierre. Um, I mentioned about McAteer doing similar previously. The wall is positioned. Abedidi clearly fancying his chances from just outside the penalty area from this Leicester City free kick. It took a deflection and drops into the bottom corner. And Mavadidi, a scorer in France at the weekend, opens the deadlock here in Shropshire on this summer's evening in Shrewsbury. And Leicester have the lead through their number 10, Steffi Mavadidi. Uh, slightly fortunate, you have to say. Took a big deflection from footed the goalkeeper there. Mentioned the Leicester bench when we went through the teams. So, Shrewsbury bench not quite as busy. There's a number of youngsters in there, probably four kind of senior figures that we might see for the second half. The youngsters may get appearances as they have done in Shrewsbury's other two pre season games so far. Yeah, might be the case. Both teams, it looks like a wholesale changes, I would imagine, wouldn't it? All 11 subs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it subs all warming up? Yeah. And for a pretty rigorous routine over on the far side. Ricardo looking to end the first half, maybe with another goal. That's a very good save as Daka latched on to that pass from Ricardo. Yeah, again, Leicester having that extra player, really. Basically, there, whether it's Ricardo gets the ball, whether it's McAteer or Dakar, they're sort of alternating runs. And this time, Dakar's making another run on the left hand side. But it's a more difficult chance than probably people think. You know, it looks not relatively easy, but you know, it looks a decent opportunity. He's got his back to goal, he's got to look over his shoulder, he's got the option of firing it low and hard, which personally I would have gone for. But then he's gone for the dink. He tried to be a little bit clever, but I, I mean, fairness, last season they were pretty impressive that when it was, you know, it was a, a huge change um, in tactics and mindset, really. But just those subtle differences been implemented by the manager. The players seem quite happy taking it on board. Benning and Shipley linking up, and Shipley has got clear and he's into the penalty area, and Ward got an important hand on that cross. And in the end, Leicester clear to safety. Ward untroubled so far in this game, but right on the, uh, the last couple of minutes of the first half. There's more forward passing earlier, I would say. Leicester would, would play the odd long ball last season, uh, as and when they saw fit, and obviously, you know, looked to play forward when, when the time was right, but there was a lot of real possession, wasn't there? You know, it was... Uh, huge sort of safety first possession, if you like. They seem a little bit more proactive, um, certainly in this encounter. Nice turn from O'Reilly. Samore and Mavadidi monitoring his progress, and that's an early ball in. Akole may have got a touch as that came across the face of the goal from Bloxham on that left hand side. And Akoli facing his own goal, may have got the decisive touch to take it beyond Danny Ward, but Shrewsbury have an equaliser early in this second half. Shipley creating the problems, and they have an equaliser. Well, a little bit of an inauspicious way to start your Leicester career, but uh, yeah, ball flighted over Shipley, who impressed in the first half as well with, with his quality on that left foot. Putting crosses in, makes the run in behind James Justin, who doesn't get close enough. And Akoli just gets himself in a little bit of a muddle, basically. He, he didn't really try and clear it, didn't try and intercept, wasn't quite sure which way to go. And here's McAteer with an instant reply for Leicester City. Latching on to the through ball. 
and remain composed to chip the ball over the onrushing goalkeeper and celebrating as he did so often last season in front of those Leicester fans. Shrewsbury level for what feels like seconds and Leicester back in front thanks to Casey McAteer. Well, quick as you like, Leicester's back in front, aren't they? And Casey McAteer who's looked a threat all evening, ball over the top, catches out the centre half. Yeah, a little switch over. Yeah, no, sorry. They're, they're, listen, training's good when you see the attitude of players, don't you, day to day, but is Shrewsbury on the break. Winchester has shown the pace against Wanya Marcel. It's a block by Okoli. And then Mavadidi can show his pace as Leicester look to break at the other end. McAteer's made a good run, and look at the space on the far side for James Justin. Not the cleanest of controls, but still a crossing opportunity. Yeah, good block by Akoli. He'll feel better now. <laughs> He's got through that period, hasn't he? He's had a few touches on the ball. Here's Mavadidi on the turn. Lovely ball. Cannon, can he get there before the goalkeeper? Offside. Flag is raised. Yeah, quite clear, I think. No VAR needed on that one. It's uh, good awareness from Mavadidi. He's, he's, I wouldn't say I'm surprised how comfortable he looks in there. The other change for Shrewsbury, George Nurse is on and the experienced John Marquis is on up front. He signed just before the game they had here with Birmingham on Saturday. It's really good skill by Golding. Yeah, it's the first time he's properly featured, really. But, uh, yeah, lovely touch, wasn't it? And well received initially. It was bright and he was looking to get on the ball, looking to break forward. A lovely little lift over the head as... Uh, the player came and challenged him. And then he wanted it back. He was, he was not admiring his own, own piece of good play. And uh, again, you know, he's, here he's asking for ball off Chowdhury in tight positions. Doesn't work out. Moves away in another another spot, and he'll come back for the ball in a minute. But uh, yeah, it's good play from the ex-Chelsea youngster. First touch coming infield from Alves, then it's Golding who's allowed it to run through to James Justin. Set himself for the shot, but it was quickly blocked. Here's Alves again. Now Alves linking up with the aforementioned Golding there. Again, bright play. Alves drives, he looks energetic, doesn't he? There's a sort of buzz about the place when he gets on the ball. Golding, very aware, was fed the ball. Could have had the touch, probably would have got closed down, dummied it, left it for Justin. Justin could have hit the ball first time, in fairness, but uh, didn't back himself. Alves picking up the ball now in a great position again. And he will take the opportunity to drive forward as well as take the shot. He isn't far off. That's what he's about, Will Alves. A real bright prospect. So positive, isn't he? You know, he's on the ball and he sort of... I don't know, snaps into gear, doesn't he, almost? And uh, you've seen a sort of change of pace and energy. Could have perhaps slipped the ball to Golden, but if Golden was being semi-covered there by uh, a tracking defender. Mal Bedding wears number three. The other player is Taylor Perry. Two players who have played the 90 minutes, and Benning trying to sneak one beyond Danny Ward, had that one covered, the goalkeeper. And there is the full-time whistle. And after victory in France against Villarreal, Leicester returned to the UK. It's the same scoreline as it was a few days ago. Two goals to one. Leicester win it. And for Steffi Mavadidi, it's two goals in two games. He struck Leicester's first after 26 minutes, a deflected free kick. Six minutes into the second half. Shrewsbury will level a, an unfortunate own goal by... Summer signing Caleb Akole, but seconds later Casey McAteer delicately finished after chasing off to a through ball, meaning it's back-to-back -back victories for Leicester in their opening two pre-season friendlies. And that a decent run out, I think, will be the, the phrase after that one. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, pretty much covers it. I think uh, you know, competent enough, Leicester, weren't they, overall? Steve Cooper going towards the Leicester City fans. Acknowledging them, clapping them. 
That's uh, it's being returned back to him in full voice. They seem to, despite his Nottingham Forest connections, I think he's been well and truly accepted by the supporters. Comes across very affable, doesn't he? Very personable. You know, a very likeable character, which obviously helps his cause. 